going on everybody it's Ashok long time no see I know but you know I've been busy and whatnot and of course we had the holidays we just had Thanksgiving I had a great Thanksgiving I hope you guys did too and just to answer the question before it gets asked no I did not participate in Black Friday because I do not want to get shot and I do not want to get trampled so didn't do that never have participated in Black Friday and I never planned to and since it's been a long while since I've done a video, there's a lot of things that have happened so I have a lot to cover but I'm not going to talk about all of it in um, this particular video. So expect uh, a nice little you know, flow of videos from me these next couple of days because I have a lot I have to uh, you know, talk about. But in this first video, you know, I want to talk about the Wii U's first year and how well Nintendo did within its first year. Now. I'm not going to say any names because these people always have problems when you say their name, although they are notorious for name dropping themselves. But particular, a particular, you know, um, I guess you could say, you know, sector of the Nintendo fan base, or whatever. I talked to them a couple weeks ago before Thanksgiving, right? And uh, we were having this discussion about um, whether or not the Wii U had a great first year, whether or not Nintendo did a great job, uh, whether or not they fulfilled all of their promises, right? And I had people tell me Nintendo fulfilled all of them except one. I had people tell me they had a great first year. There was no game droughts. There was plenty of games to buy. Things of that nature. Now first, I want to talk about, I want to address these people. And guys, no, this isn't me criticizing Nintendo. This isn't about Nintendo. This is about these people who are being delusional. Because after I had this discussion with these people, right? More evidence than I already had presented came out proving exactly what I was saying. So, if Nintendo had a great first year, people, then why did Iwata say we have failed to make the Wii U successful? Why did Iwata say we have failed to make it a successful successor to the Wii? Another thing I listed was, um, you know, the marketing campaign has been virtually non-existent until the fall came. People were talking about, what are you talking about? They had a great marketing campaign year round. Then why did Reggie come out and admit himself that there's virtually no marketing campaign for the majority of the year? No commercials whatsoever. Now, I've, see, that's, that's what I find funny, right? I'll say something, um, <clears throat> I'll say something about how Nintendo's doing, what they're doing wrong or something. People will deny it, I'm wrong. Shokyo, that's your opinion, you need to stop. Uh, trying to write off your opinions as facts, but then somebody from Nintendo will come out and admit exactly what I just said. You see what I'm saying? So the people you guys are trying so hard to vigorously defend, they agree with me. They're saying it. So are you going to come out and admit that I'm right now? But but let's say that's not good enough, right? That's Iwata and Reggie's opinions, right? Okay, let, let's say that, right? Then can you tell me why in the first 48 hours of these consoles life they have outsold the Wii U in the UK? Why after a few weeks, the PS4 has been out for a few weeks only, why does it have half of the install base of the Wii U in a matter of weeks? Ain't even been a month yet. The Wii U is currently you know, somewhere above 4 million, you know, worldwide, whatever. The PS4 just hit 2.1 million worldwide. A console that's been out for a few weeks has half of the install base of a console that has been out for a whole full year. But y'all have the nerve to tell me Nintendo had a great first year. They did a great job. They fulfilled all their promises. Guys, if there is no droughts like you guys are, are claiming, if there is a great marketing campaign year round like you guys are claiming, if all their promises were fulfilled like you guys are claiming, stuff like this wouldn't happen. The Wii U's install base wouldn't be so low. You see what I'm saying? And under normal circumstances, there is no reason in hell that Nat should be able to outsell a 3D Mario game in any region. But that happened, why? Not because of the Wii U itself, not because people were getting tired of Mario, but because the install base is just that low. The install base is so low because of Nintendo's mistakes, mishaps, and fumbles that Knack, Knack 
managed to outsell 3D Mario, which is insane. And that goes, again, just more evidence, further proof. I mean, you got to fuck up pretty bad to have a game like Knack outsell a 3D Mario game in a region. That is crazy. I believe it was in the UK. Absolutely insane. These consoles just came out. They already have half of the install base of the Wii U. And you're telling me that Nintendo had a, a great first year. If you are saying that, you're delusional. Plain and simple. There's no way you can slice it. I even had one guy tell me, he, one guy uh, did admit that there were software droughts, but he said he likes droughts. And I was like, if this dude likes droughts, then I might as well stop talking to him right now. Because he is obviously not right in the head. I like game, I like game droughts. I like having no games to play. Makes sense, right? But like I said, guys, that wasn't me criticizing Nintendo. That was just directed towards the Nintendo guys who have this, you know, false alternate reality where Nintendo just did a banging job this first year. They did a great job. They fulfilled all their promises of, you know, third-party support, GBA games for the virtual console, things of that nature, showing us the asymmetrical gameplay of the gamepad post-launch, right? Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Now, right, for right now, let, let's skip to the present, you know. Presently, I gotta give Nintendo props, they are doing a great job right now. And what I'm talking about is, one, their marketing campaign has been very, very ambitious. I'm seeing commercials out the ass on multiple channels. I'm seeing it on, of course, Cartoon Network, Nintendo commercials always on there. I'm seeing uh, Wii U commercials on Cartoon Network, uh, True TV, Sci-Fi, um, even Spike and MTV, I've seen Wii U commercials, Animal Planet, whatever, right? They have finally started to advertise the next generation console. They have finally realized they have the next generation console on the market. Um, and I'm, I've been seeing more Wii U commercials than PS4 and Xbox One commercials now, which is, which is crazy. But Nintendo is finally being ambitious with the marketing campaign. And they also have this deal with um, one of the airlines um, where they're setting up these Wii U game lounges in airports, which is a genius idea. Because do you guys realize how much traffic can go through a single airport or, or, or two of them, right? That is a lot of people walking by who could see the Wii U. And then they're doing this right before the Christmas season. So it's perfect. And that is just genius in, in my eyes. Because like I said, a lot of people come through uh, one or two airports in a single day, right? But basically, Nintendo's going to set up these gaming lounges where, let's say you're at the airport, you're waiting on a flight, or you're waiting for a flight to come in, right? You could just like uh, go into the Wii U gaming lounge and try out some Wii U. You like it? Hmm, Christmas is coming up. I'll buy this. I'll buy this for my family or my, my little brother or my cousin, you know, son, daughter, whatever, right? Great marketing campaign. Uh, thirdly, they're actually putting demos in the demo kiosk. Who, who would have thought that that would have been the sensible thing to do? And it's sad that that's something uh, commendable. But it is what it is. I'll give them props because they are improving. But you guys know the deal. Um, for the majority of, of places, if at these Wii U, uh, Wii U stands and kiosks, right? They actually, they actually haven't had demos. They've just had selectable videos you can watch of games, but they haven't had the games playable. But now they're setting up demos where you can play 3D World and, and Pikmin and you know Sonic and things of that nature. Thank you. Thank you, we finally have some demo kiosks for these, for these games. Some demos for these freaking kiosks. And it's sad that it took them this long, but like I said, hey, improvement is improvement. They're finally doing it. Um, also, and you know, here's the crazy thing about all this, right? It's like Nintendo started doing all this after I put in my video. And no, I'm not saying Nintendo watched my video. My, that video only has like, what, 12K views? That's, that's not viral. I'm not saying to watch my videos, I know, I know they most likely didn't. But I'm just saying it's really coincidental and cool how like right when I put that video saying y'all need to be more you know, ambitious with the marketing and stuff like that, you need to get more involved. Remember when I talked about that? And the funny thing is I, when I talked about how Nintendo needs to get more involved, I specifically mentioned, you know, like game trailers, you know, and, and Spike. And then lo and behold, Reggie announces that he has an announcement to make at VGX. Thank you. That is the kind of shit I am talking about right there. That's what I meant by be more involved. Hype your stuff up. 
And speaking of hype, um, going back to the Nintendo dudes, right? Uh, a lot of the time when there's a 3DS Direct, you guys know how sometimes uh, I'll do a Nintendo Direct wrap up, whatever. Um, the majority of the directs this year have been, you know, 3DS focused, and whenever it's just consistently 3DS focused, 3DS focused, 3DS focused, direct after another, I get kind of pissed. And I basically complain about like, yo, you need to focus on the Wii U. You need to drive up the hype. Give it as much as attention as you can. And the PS4's launch pretty much proves exactly what I've been saying this whole time, right? And that's that you can sell the system off of hype. You know what I'm saying? You can sell a system off of hype. Because there are tons and tons of PS4 owners out there that do not own Killzone, whether or not they're interested in it, and don't own Knack. Yet they still have a PS4. Why? Because first off, Sony marketed it. And they hyped it. A large portion of the PS4 sales are purely off of that next generation hype. And that's not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's great that Sony can accomplish something like that. That's what I've been wanting Nintendo to, to do this whole time. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of the time when I criticize Nintendo for the lack of a marketing campaign, and how they don't focus on the Wii U and these directs. A lot of people say, well, you know, they haven't been marketing it because they haven't had the games to market it. You don't need games to advertise your system. Microsoft proved that after 2009, right? Because they haven't had exclusives in the last three freaking years. And they've still had 360 commercials. The PS4 has literally two retail exclusives at launch. And it's still selling like crazy. Why? Because Sony has marketed the hell out of it and they piped it. But I kind of got off topic. But yeah, Reggie's going to the VGX. They have an announcement there. I will be doing a video specifically on that. So Nintendo is doing a lot better. And this is pretty much the uh, whole point of the latter half of this video is that um, you're, you're waking up, Nintendo. You're getting things right. What you need to do now is carry this momentum into 2014. Because you got the games next year. You got... A hell of a lot of them, right? So you got the ammunition. All you got to do is package that ammunition into the proper gun to fire it. You see what I'm saying? Keep up the marketing. Keep up the demos. Keep the demo kiosks updated with latest games, for instance. You know, things of that nature. Excuse me. Keep on being involved with these, you know, sites and, and things of that nature. You know, uh, throw a bone to IGN and say, hey, IGN, we have a you know, a, a world premiere we would like to give to you guys, you know, hype this on Twitter, you know, keep doing stuff like that, and then just give us the basic features, you know, just improve the system. Notice I said basic features, and a lot of times when I talk about these features, people say, oh, you need to go to PSN and Xbox Live if you want these kinds of things, but 99% of the features I'm talking about are things that were featured in previous Nintendo hardware, such as the Wii and 3DS, folders, an integrated messaging system in the friends list, right? Conference chat, some some kind of media, you know, playback. You know, let me let me watch a video. Not, and I'm not saying these, these things for me personally, but wake up, guys, and look at the bigger picture. A lot of people expect more out of these gaming machines nowadays. We're not in the day and age where all the game machines did was play games. If Nintendo really wants it to get selling, they have to put some basic stuff into the system that's not there yet. So if Nintendo could just give us some basic features, uh, really get serious about the virtual console, you know, just keep up the marketing campaign, keep hyping stuff up, just have it on a constant hype train, they'll do great next year and they can definitely, you know, uh, make up for what they did this year, right? A lot of people are saying, oh, that's it, it's over, because they had one bad first year. The PS3 had like two bad, first years, right? Like the first two years on market, it was bad. Then 09 is really when it started hitting its stride. You see what I'm saying? But you guys get the point. So Nintendo fumbled this first year, guys. There is no denying that. And if you deny that, you're just straight delusional. I don't understand how you guys just go so ham for defending these. Like you don't have to, right? Nintendo is not going to blacklist you from buying their products. I mean, you guys are bleeding out on the ground with your pistol out. Ugh. Oh, oh, still firing at the enemy, he's like struggling. Like, no, just let it go. Just say, yeah, they had a bad first year, but they're getting better. And 2014 looks like it's gonna be an amazing year for Wii U. That's all you gotta say. And cause that's the current situation. They had a bad first year, but they're starting to do a lot of things different. 
and they have a ton of big hitters that are going to be released throughout 2014. So it's going to get better. Hopefully Nintendo can handle this right. That's for this video, y'all. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace.